Happy Divine Mercy Sunday! Are we grateful that we have come this far because of God's great mercy for us? Love and blessings! I am Sister Didi Alarcon for today's Gospel Power. When it was evening on that day, the first day of the week, and the doors of the house where the disciples had met were locked for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. After he said this, he showed them his hands and his side. Then the disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. When he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive the sins of any, they are forgiven them. If you retain the sins of any, they are retained. But Thomas, who was called the twin, one of the twelve, was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples told him, We have seen the Lord. But he said to them, Unless I see the mark of the nails in his hands, and put my finger in the mark of the nails and my hand at his side, I will not believe. A week later, his disciples were again in the house, and Thomas was with them. Although the doors were shut, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here and see my hands. Reach out your hand and put it in my side. Do not doubt, but believe. Thomas answered him, My Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, have you believed because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have come to believe. Now Jesus did many other signs in the presence of his disciples, which are not written in this book. But these are written so that you may come to believe that Jesus is the Messiah, the Son of God, and that through believing, you may have life in His name. The risen Christ must have surprised the fearful disciples with His threefold greeting, Shalom. Just three days ago, they abandoned Him to His own feet. But now, the insistent greeting dispels all apprehensions and bitter memories of how they failed him in his great moment of need. As the risen Lord shows them his crucifixion wounds, there is no blaming, no scolding, no demands for explanation, only forgiveness, which he asks them to pass on to others. This is divine mercy, God's initiative to offer healing and reconciliation. It is totally undeserved and unmerited, only pure grace. Jesus is freely accepted to bear the universal pain and transform it into compassion so that his wounds can become the source of healing for a wounded world. He assures Thomas and all of us today that glory and woundedness can coexist in one who loves. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, may we who are conscious of being recipients of divine mercy never withhold compassion from anyone in need of it. Amen. We stand before you, Holy Spirit, as we gather together in your name. With you alone to guide us, make yourself at home in our hearts. Teach us the way we must go and how we are to pursue it. We are weak and sinful. Do not let us promote disorder. 
Do not let ignorance lead us down the wrong path, nor partiality influence our actions. Let us find in you our unity, so that we may journey together to eternal life, and not stray from the way of truth and what is right. All this we ask of you, who are at work in every place and time, in the communion of the Father and the Son, forever and ever.